So the third anniversary of the February earthquakes is now behind us. And I'm really looking forward to a year where the rebuild gets some really serious momentum behind it. The CDV site. Um, for those of you who haven't been down there, we've worked with um, volunteers, with the families, to really green the site up. Um, it's had grass planted, um, there's a whole lot of plants there, there's some sculpture there. It's become a really, really special place and I'd really encourage people to go in there and walk around um, and just reflect. And while you're in town, you know, pop across the road, have a look at the tra transitional cathedral, but also take in all that, all that areas we've greened up in that immediate area, around Latimer Square, in the area we're calling the Eastern Frame. We've planted large areas of that in grass, and that's now available for people who have a picnic on, have a game of soccer, rugby, cricket, whatever. So it's an area which, in the longer term, we've earmarked for much more intensive residential development. We want to bring people into the CBD, living in the CBD, in communities close to the city, but also close to things like the Margaret Mahi Playground. That's a playground which is going down on that corner down towards the river. And we hope to build, well, we're planning on building the best children's playground in the world. Um, and that's going to be open by the end of this year. We're talking to property developers at the moment. People have done these developments in other cool cities around the world about that residential development. They came back to us with their ideas over the next few weeks, and from there we can work out exactly which areas of that eastern frame can get developed when. We're doing planning at the moment. I'm thinking about how we'd have other parks, how other green spaces, walkways and so on through that eastern frame, and that work will be coming out over the next few weeks as well. Here I've got a regular 2D map of the central city. It's a map showing the changes, the developments we expect to see over the next couple of years. Yellow is buildings that have already been built, orange is buildings we hope to see finished by the end of this year, and so on. And that's great because you start seeing all the different colours, things are going to happen over this next period of time. But really visualising it, there's been some work has been done by LINS, the Land Information New Zealand, to build a 3D model. A 3D model showing all the new buildings that are going to go up around the central city. That allows us to sort of fly around the central city, walk through the central city, look out your building, uh, you know, existing building in the CBD, and see how the city's going to look in a year or two years. So as architects and engineers are designing buildings, they're giving that information to the LINS people, the land information people, and they're incorporating it into this cool 3D model. If you want to see where this model's got to, um, you'll see down the bottom of your screen now the website you can go to so you can have an explore of what that city, what our city is going to look like. There's just been a great new website launched called In The Know. It's a website designed, if you like, by the community, for the community, to allow people to get their questions answered about everything to do with the rebuild. Um, questions about insurance, EQC, city council issues, SERA issues. It's a, it's a common, if you like, place where people can ask their, what they might be really tough questions, and then we go off, work with the community leaders to get different agencies to answer those questions. So far there's been about 50 questions asked and answered, um, and the most popular questions are things like, um, what sort of insurance should I still get on my house after it's been written off? Do I need to follow um, special guidelines if I'm rebuilding on TC3 land? A whole range of different sorts of questions that people are asking. Ask the questions, we then work with community leaders to get those questions answered. And if there are updates to those answers, they go on the website as well. So, inthenow.org.nz. Go and have a look. So, that's all from me um, for this month. Um, a lot of the stuff we've dealt with in this update is also in the Greater Christchurch um, Recovery Update. Um, it should be coming in your letterbox really soon. If you don't find it in your letterbox, then just about everything is on the CERA website, sarah.govt.nz. Thanks very much.